we take care of women like you? Given the status? Well, it's nice to have a new face around here. My name is Paula. Mary. All who come to this convent must leave behind their former life and possessions. If this is a problem, the door is there for you to return to that which you fled. No. If and when you decide to leave us, your possessions will be returned to you. We are waiting for Sal's silence. This keeps us free from distraction and closer to the Lord. We have prayer at 5 a.m., breakfast at 7, chores until 10. You can expect to start out. Hi, what are you reading? You don't need to do that. You'll find it doesn't matter if anyone in here likes you. Look at her when she's talking to you. Where is she? Mother's approval is all you should concern yourself with. Thank you, Paula. I think Sarah has chores. Why don't you see to it that she gets to them? who is repaying her debt to us by staying on and helping wherever she can. I think she just likes to look at the pictures of the saints. I don't think she actually reads the text. My name is Mary. Mary. Well, of course it is. While we do spend most of our days in prayer, or divine labor, we also make time for leisure activities, such as reading the holy texts in this library. It may take a day or two for you to adjust to our routine, but if you do decide to stay, our schedule will soon become your schedule. If it seems like I'm overly cautious with the bars on the windows and the locks on the doors, it's because I am. We had a break in recently. I don't need to tell you how evil the world is. Don't 
Doris is seven months along now. What do you pray for, child? For an end to this pain, mother. Oh, Doris. <laughs> when will you realize that your pain only brings you closer to him? Do you think that he selfishly prayed for an end to his own suffering? Of course not. He prayed to end the suffering of others. Now. Neil. As you can see, we are going through a bit of a transition. The church in Rome, well, they certainly agree with taking in people like you. Do not agree with my methods, which are strict, but very fair. So they pulled their portrait of the Pope and cut the Vatican purse strings. Maintaining our lifestyle on private donations has been challenging, to say the least, which is why you find our sanctuary in the state that it's in. Right now, however, I would like you to worry only about getting some sleep. You look like you could use a good rest. Focus and clarity are most important for a mother to be. Sleep well. It's okay. Oh, Jesus. They'll hear you, and you do not want them to do that. Are we the only ones in here? Not us in here. Out there. They sometimes listen in. Are you serious? They are. And they do not allow talking in the dorms. playing a game. I'm, I'm so rude. I'm so, I tell you what, deal me in. I'll get around. Y'all drinking? Y'all drinking. We're all drinking. <laughs> you can get rid of him. Always spending his money on dice and booze. Sounds like a perfect guess. Oh, shit. <clears throat> what do you do, kid? I blow a horn. If I do say so myself, I ain't too bad. Yeah. I ain't seen you in a long time. You look great. Well, you go big or you don't go, you know? Something my mom always says. Oh, damn it, I'm so sorry. That was all me. Fuck. You two think I'm a goddamn fool? That was my fault, Dad. He didn't, he didn't want to do it. Look, here, have this, and you can have all of mine. All of it. That's the start, isn't it? Ain't she married, friend? I wonder how she feels. Don't you? Give it to me, goddammit! Fine. Here.
And now you get the fuck out. You were late. Well, you weren't, was you? Whole goddamn thing was started by the time I even got here. Okay. Where are we now? Nearly there. Okay, look at me. God damn. I don't know why you don't just let me kill your pa. Don't talk like that. Well, Mary Lou, I'm sorry, but just anybody's gonna hit his own daughter like that. It's just... Well, I'd rather it be me than William. I talked to him, by the way. Hmm. I got him prepped for when the time comes. Yeah? Yeah. Do you understand? Enough to know that him and his big sister are going on a secret vacation. Secret vacation? Away from your big asshole father. Do you know you are neither unique or special here? You should enjoy it while it lasts. What? Her interest. She wants to see you in her chambers. Make yourself presentable. None of your concern. I'm just saying that I don't think it should be your decision. Mary, you remember Father Andrew? It's a true pleasure to see you again, Mary. The whole way there was... Uh, Blood? Yes. A rather nasty accident. Clumsy people make clumsy mistakes. We'll clean it up. But the girl, my policies are strict, but they are there for a reason. And I know what it's like to be in your situation. You were pregnant? And your child will work. He's a senator. Doesn't even know I exist. Obviously given to a family that could provide him with so much more than I ever could. How are you, emotionally? I get by. It's important to keep your mind afloat during this period. It's your greatest tool. Healthy mind, healthy body. That's what your baby needs right now. You're going to be on my strict regimen of vitamins and supplements as long as you're here with us. Thank you, Paula. Poor Paula. She's a little rough around the edges, but she must never take anything she says or does personally. It's my job to ensure the safety of your child. I only want the best for it, and I know you do, too. After all, that's why you're here, isn't it? I 
I ask you a very simple question. Are you here of your own volition? In other words, and you know that I am certainly not one to judge, I want to know if you are here because you understand that you are not responsible enough to care for the child growing inside of you on your own. I come here because I am responsible and I'm asking for help to bring my child into this world. But I'm not giving up my baby. Well, that's certainly your decision. But while you are here, you will be our postulant. You will live as we do, giving yourself over entirely to the Lord in service and submission. Do you know where that money comes from? The money that puts food in our mouths and keeps the lights on? No, no, I don't. It comes from our sponsors. People who believe, as I do, that women like you simply don't know right from wrong, that you don't have any degree of responsibility, certainly not enough to care for a child on your own, and that you need help. Please don't mistake my gratitude for greed. After all, you've seen the state of things around here. And the other girls are so sloppy. I believe that you could be the blessing we've been waiting for. After all, people want to give to someone like you, someone who gives them hope. I don't feel well. I... And Father Andrew is going to be your divine witness to your commitment to us. Something. Mary, do you know what happened to my sailboat? No, I don't, but we'll find it in the morning, okay? Remember that secret vacation I've been telling you about? Yeah. You might be going a lot sooner than I thought. You, me, Jimmy, finally away from Dad. Right? I love you. Go to sleep. I said go home. And I tried. I've already missed you. Mary. So glad to see you up. I thought you were going to sleep all winter. <laughs> what time is it? It's time for a fresh new start for everyone. And Sarah's going to help you with yours. Sarah? Oh, Jesus. Wednesday. I don't know, actually. We blend together. Would you mind sitting so I can reach your hair? Do you want a boy or a girl? I'm not sure. I'm not sure of much right now, actually. They say boys are easier to raise than girls. I had a boy when I first got here. 
He died in childbirth. He showed me a picture, though. He was beautiful. I miss you, Jimmy. Every day. I suppose it would be redundant to ask if you're staying out of trouble. I am starting to wonder if I made a mistake, but I'm hopeful it's just going to take some time to adjust. Write me back. Tell me you love me and we are doing what's best for our family. She'll read it. Who's it to? The father. Just remember. There's no guarantee she'll send it.
going on? Mary saw something. A face. A face. <laughs> That's a broken pipe. Mary, I'm still lenient with you because you're fairly new here. I swear, I'm not crazy. And if I recall, don't you also see your dead brother? What did she say? I said, aren't you prone to seeing your little dead brother, the one you murdered in a bathtub? What? No. I want to leave. I made a mistake, and I, I would like to leave. Absolutely your choice. But don't you think you'll fare better out there with a good night's sleep? Hmm? We're going to bring you something to calm you down. And everyone's going to get a good night's sleep. I don't want it. While you are in this house, you will abide by her rules. Tomorrow, you can return to your life of sin. But tonight, right now, you will take these pills and show some respect to the people helping you. Rejoice, all of you. Tonight, your slate will be wiped clean. Mary will die tonight so that you may be reborn. But the sins of your past will continue to haunt and destroy you until you submit to our way of life. 
and Kinnon. You do not deserve the name Mary. She was pure. She was innocent. And you are immoral, corrupt, and vile. But I have good news. I have found another. I rename you Agatha. Like a little baby bird. No, no, please. Oh. 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 Left, have you? I'm not tired. Yeah, I figured. You need to eat something. <sighs> I'm not hungry. Remember me? Jimmy. I remember you. You two little shits took me for everything that I had. Oh, you've been busy. Oh, 
give your baby a better life. Now we can let that happen. Come. There we are. All that's left is to rid you of the vestiges of who you once were. What happened to your back? Was it her? Sean missed the child. It was my husband. He did this. Car crash. He died. I didn't. I can't be all I have left of him. I'm sorry. For what she did to you, really, I am. But you need to keep your head down. She put me in a car. You have to try to do what she says. If you fight her, that car will be the least of your worries. Thank you. 
be anyone's mother. Not as I see things, things make you feel out of control and helpless. breakfast with the donors while they judge us. I got this Kansas City gig coming up. Okay. And what am I supposed to do? Well, how about you come with me? And stay where? You stay with me. Stay with me and the boys. It'd be fun. Half a dozen roughnecks in a rundown motel room. There's four. Five. Is that what you really want? Well, no, it's not what I really want, Mary. But what I really want don't matter. I can't have the mother of my unborn child staying by herself. I'm out of options. What do you want me to do? So you want to leave town and have me follow you around and then maybe the next town after that? Or do you want to just go alone? Do I want to go alone? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go alone. Yeah. Yeah, you enjoy your supper. Okay. 
We take care of women like you. You're going to be just fine. They're going to fix you right up. Good as new. The doctor has been called, and he is on his way. Thank you again. Paula, will you see the right out? No, don't go. Don't go. Get out! Out of my bed! Operator, I got a little bit of an emergency. Could you give me the address for the phone number I've been trying to reach? All right, thank you. me that you two are becoming fast friends. I think that's splendid. Did you enjoy breakfast the other morning, Agatha? I thought it was wonderful. <laughs> it's so rare that we allow ourselves such an indulgence. But I think our donors are happy when they see us well-fed and healthy. <laughs> Didn't you enjoy it, Catherine? Yes. Sometimes, all I will need is to eat a single perfect strawberry as proof of God's love. I wasn't at the breakfast. You weren't? Oh, that's right. You were running around like an oh, insane oh. person. <laughs> Sit down. Embarrassing me in front of our donors. This entire place runs on their donations, Agatha. They want to see a healthy, beautiful, intelligent, well-adjusted young woman. They don't want to see someone plagued by demons. They care not for your darkness. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes! Oh. You're just a wise-ass little bitch, you? You will not raise your voice in the house of the Lord. And you will never mm -hmm. raise your voice to me again. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Uh, I can't hear you. Yes. Say it again. Yes. Say it again. Yes. 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 You will drive those demons from your head and think of oh, your baby. Now get out. As I've said before, the money simply isn't available. 
But you of all people should know that I have done more for you than anyone would have dreamed. Now, please remember that the harsh reality is none of us have any other real options. You will explain to me how this boy came to be on this property, but now he endangers us all. So you're going to make sure that he's alone and that he leaves. Sister Susan is an excellent shot, and I can assure you she won't be pointing that at you. Because I would never do anything to endanger my child. Now, let's go say hello. Mary Lou, as I live... <gasps> Look how big you got. Oh, my God. It's okay. Stop. I don't want to see you anymore. You don't know what you're talking about. I traveled 300 damn miles to come down here and see you. Are you alone? Yeah. Nobody knows I'm here. No. Of course not. Good. I don't want you or anyone from my past to be part of my baby's future. Our baby's future, my baby too. But what, what? I'm confused right now. What, what's happening? Listen, things are different now. Okay, so things are different. Just, just, just listen to me. I'm done listening. You have to go. If you love me, you will go. I don't understand. You're just like my father. You just wanted to control me. <laughs> That's horseshit. No, I didn't. My life now. These people got in your head. No. Yeah. No. They, they've shown me what matters. And you're not a part of that anymore. Yeah. Go. Mary, come on now. No, my name is Agatha. I'm leaving here. Oh. I'm not going anywhere without you. I'm not oh, leaving no. without you. No, no, no. I stop. came all this stop. way. Please don't make me it's go. All it's not yours. It's not your child. It's not your child. You're lying. Come no, on. it's not yours. No, you're go. lying. Go. 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 Leave. It's not your child. Leave. Poison. Paula's been waging war since she saw the first one. Not only for your time, but for your generous donations. 
which helps to support our girls in their hour of need. Please take this moment to get to know each of them. Who shall we start with? Are you feeling better, sweetheart? Much. Thank you, Dan, for the help the other day. Wasn't my fault. Yes, yes, of course. We all have our off days. I have just one more question. We all have to work together on getting out of here now. Not, not tomorrow. Not in the morning. Now. You, you can't. They'll hear you. You really feel safe in this place? Knowing that you have to deliver your child into this? What? Sarah? Sarah, if you know something, please. I think they lied to me about my baby. They took him out of the room. The next morning when I woke up, they told me he was dead. I was drugged. But I know that I heard him crying again. There were no other babies here. A mother knows the sound of her own baby's crying. Talking from young girls vowed to silence. You must have so many more things you'd like to say. So many secrets you'd like to share with God. perfectly well what this is. I think. Well, yes, you're going to be needing them now that you're leaving us. No. I don't have anywhere to go. I know. And it breaks my heart because I love you so. But I'm afraid I only have room for people who are loyal to me. I'm loyal. I am. I am. Are you? <laughs> I don't think you are. Loyal people don't wag their tongues, propagating hate and lies against the only person who's ever cared about them. I don't know how to do anything else. I know. You'll probably rot out there. I have no doubt. Paula, will you please bring Agatha to the dining room? You see, Sarah, what I am trying to do here is much, much better than anything you can comprehend with that sad little brain of yours. However, there may be a way for you to stay and keep your tongue from wagging against me. everyone to take a vow of silence. There's a reason for everything I do.
Your continued meddling with the minds of these young girls will bring them nothing but pain. longer be sleeping here. She is being moved to a room of her own. You did this. Well, keep looking for the weak spots like we talked about. That's it.
One of them being our own father and Sit down! Oh, Agatha, don't you think you've wasted enough of everyone's time? Delusions, hallucinations, no. false no. memories, homicidal ideations, insomnia. These are very serious conditions, Agatha. Which is why I also had you sign this. Power of attorney. Because you are not of sound mind to make your own legal decisions. I own you and your baby, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. But for heaven's sake, don't take my word for it. Um, perhaps you'd like to call somebody. Hmm? I don't think Jimmy wants to hear from you again. But perhaps the authorities. Yes, Paula, will you go fetch a phone for Agatha? We'll just wait. Thank you, Paula. There you go. Anyone you like. <laughs> I'd like to report a murder. <laughs> This should be very good. Yes, by all means, tell them you've been spending time at the convent and sleeping in a coffin and attending midnight mass with faceless nuns. And by all means, tell them we forced you to go by the name of Agatha. All sounds a little bit crazy to me, don't you think? Yes. Yes. The convent. <laughs> It's over. Get up. Get up! <coughs> Open the door! Ma'am. Sir, please help me. Ma'am, it's far enough. Please help me. This woman murdered my boyfriend, and she's keeping me hostage, and... I'm so sorry, officer. She's not well. She's, she's upstairs. Ma'am? Ma'am? I'd be disappointed if you don't. She's upstairs. Sir, please. She's upstairs. His body was right there. What? Hey. They moved... They moved his body. <laughs> No, it's not anymore. I, I see things. That's not me. That's not my voice. I mean, I don't know how she did. I killed my brother. What? No, no, I didn't say that. I would never say that. 
I didn't kill him. He's drowned, but why are you looking at me like that? He drowned. I'm not crazy. What happened to her head? She has a pension for hurting herself. This happened shortly before you arrived. No, we simply haven't no, gotten to She did this to me. She's lying. You can see she's delusional. She was sent here. In there, you'll find a power of attorney. She signed it over to us. I don't remember. Over there. It's a sad case, actually. The father of the child wants absolutely nothing to do with her. Paula, may I have Jimmy's letters, please? I give the dad. They don't seem to care. Thank you. There you go. That's not even his handwriting. Look, these are all fake. They're all fake. They wrote these. You see what we have to put up with. Earl, what are you doing out of the house? No. Are you okay, Miss? Whoa, your head. No. No, he's a part of... He's... 